So Clive, you were just in the innovation um, sort of uh, talk mm -hmm. earlier and social innovation. And you have a very interesting story, the backstory about how you got from engineering yeah. to, to social innovation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. Actually, I began my career as an engineer mm -hmm. in power industry. And because of the Sichuan earthquake in 2008, mm -hmm. um, I got an email from HKU about a program in Sichuan. Um, and I thought it's um, perhaps a volunteer program, so uh -huh. I just uh, applied for it. But when I get there, I realized that they're actually teaching about social entrepreneurship uh -huh. in disaster recovery. I found, wow social entrepreneurship. You can do something you're really passionate about. And at the same time, you can make money, make a living. And I think the most beauty part is they are seeing underprivileged people. They are actually have the ability to change, to make them have a better life by themselves. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really fascinated about this idea. So I quit my job right away and then began my journey in the social sector. Uh -huh. <laughs> so over these years, since 2008, right? Yeah. Over these seven years now, yeah. what kind of changes have you been seeing in the Hong Kong uh -huh. social innovation sector or in greater greater China, if it's, yeah. if it's the same or if it's different? Mm. I was really um, surprised and amazed to see uh -huh. those quick changes. Right now, I've, I, I, I've witnessed you know, um, lots of collaborations mm -hmm. from academia to government to social sector and even corporates. Um, at the very first beginning on my own journey, mm -hmm. uh, I faced lots of obstacles at that time because people are not really supporting you know, um, social enterprise because they have no idea at all. Mm -hmm. and they thought that's only charity but actually we are promoting to use business ideas. Mm -hmm. And right now, after so many years, I really see there's great place, you know. Now is the best time for our students to really come and join and develop their social enterprise. Right, and there's a lot of these kinds of programs actually being fostered yeah. at the university. Um, but from your perspective, what kind of challenges could mm. students who are who are really passionate about social innovation, who really have their own ideas that they want to implement. What are the challenges in Hong Kong in particular that they're going to face in the coming years? Wow, it's a tough one actually. <laughs> um, I think most of um, uh, Hong Kong people, mm -hmm. um, they have a kind of Chinese traditional values. Um, maybe it's from parents, maybe from teachers, maybe just from themselves. They can't really accept failure. But failure is part of journey as a social innovator. Mm -hmm. You will make mistakes and you will and definitely and you will fall down. But if you don't have the courage to stand up again and you you won't be success. And things always seem impossible until you achieve it. Mm -hmm. And in my whole life, at the first beginning, I was just living right just upon others' expectation. Until the moment I went to Sichuan, I think I should make my own dream come true. Mm -hmm. And that motivation keep pushing me and going uh, ahead and ahead. And one day, when I look back, I became really surprised. I have the first um, follower and then more and more. And eventually, um, mm -hmm. I ex established uh, a an organization called Gaili, mm -hmm. Global Exchange in Leadership Initiatives. Oh, right, yeah. And uh, right now, we became a global alliance of youth organizations in 100 countries, mm -hmm. in uh, six continents, and we are supporting one another, those uh, social changes to realize their dream. Mm -hmm. And then we approach you know, those big figureheads like Bill Clinton to get their supports. Mm -hmm. I think they really want to reach uh, some uh, social changes in different parts of the world, but they don't have the channel, and we become the platform, and we embrace everyone's success. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like a wonderful goal. Bill Clinton, that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's really big. Then clearly, it's uh, been a very big success. Yeah. Um, well, I hope that it keeps growing, and thank you so much for thank talking you. with me. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Okay.